Shalom, everyone. This is Ms. Beavers. Um, let's first bow our hearts and pray for what I'm about ready to say is really going to put me out there. Abba Yahuwah, I have you. I have you. I have your son, Yahshua HaMashiach. I pray that as I allow people to see what you have been showing me, that you let my lips be your lips. And that you share with people through me what's happening in the world as we know it today. I pray a hedge of protection around all your Kodashim. And I thank you for everything that you're showing people. Thank you for what you're doing in people's lives. I thank you for, for showing us how much you have, how much you love us. Thank you. Okay, I am not someone, for anyone who watches this, for anyone who knows me or doesn't know me or thinks I'm off my rocker, I don't care. I don't care. Because the Father has put this on my heart and I'm sharing this with the world. Repent. Repent, everyone, everyone who sees this. I don't care what you think. It doesn't matter what I say or what I speak. This is a warning. This is a warning for all mankind. There are many, there are many that are talking about um, the Father is giving them visions or dreams, um, and and they're doing videos on these visions and dreams, and and now I'm going to be added to that list. Um, for months now, actually, for quite a few years, but really since December of of this last um, Gregorian calendar year, uh, Abba has been putting on my heart many things. He's doing something incredible. And something he's been doing in my life specifically is giving me visions during the night season while I sleep or um, sometimes after I wake up or in the process of waking up. Um, I know others are experiencing visions during the day um, as well as during during the night. And so I'm, I'm on here sharing what he has been showing me and, and this is a warning. This is a warning for everyone. I'm not I'm not doing this for likes. I'm not doing this for attention. I'm not doing this to be puffed up and oh look at me. This this is serious and this is real. So please pay attention for anyone who watches this. This is important. Take it to the Father. Don't take my word for it. I don't know nothing. 
I'm just a servant. I'm just a messenger. He's doing something huge here. Okay, so I had a dream. Um, it was December of last year. This is this is pretty much when when my life started to change, started to unfold like when you're reading your scriptures and each page you turn you 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 learn more or you know in ancient times they had a scroll and as the scroll is being opened up that is kind of how I've been describing my life it's a scroll that's unrolling and and as he opens it more and more and more he's showing me more and more and more and things that I never knew I never knew any of these things. I wasn't looking for it. I wasn't asking for it. He he just gave it to me. And I can't prove this to anyone. I can't explain it to anyone. And, and I don't care what people think of me either because I know that he's doing something inside of me, inside of many other people. And, and all I care about, I don't care about what man thinks of me or thinks I'm doing this, that, and the other wrong, I don't care anymore. What I do care about is doing the Father's will and having Him teach me and show me what His will is in my life. So, the first dream that He gave me, um, I call it my Kuf 1221 dream. Kuf 1221. Chew on that. This happened December of last year. And my dream consisted of I was speaking to somebody from my past about the, the Moedim, the Kodesh or set apart feast of Yahuwah. He has seven of them. And I was speaking to this individual. And I realized that there was a woman in this dream and she was playing both sides. At one point she looked innocent and sweet and on the other side she was dressed in black and looked evil. And, and then And then, while I was explaining this dream to this individual, or I'm sorry, not this dream, while I was explaining how to keep the Moed or Moedim, I realized that I didn't write down the past couple of months. And so I was hurrying and rushing, trying to figure out the last couple months to the last couple months so that way they knew they knew and before I woke up from that dream I say Koof 1221 now many are gonna watch this and they're gonna be like what the heck is Koof this is one of Abba's most ancient um, pictographic letters um, which is the sun at the horizon it has to do with time it has to do um, I guess I'll, I'll get this out and show you guys time is is the main thing that that Koof focuses on and it also has to do with cyclical. Um, when we don't learn something from him, he brings us back around. And he teaches us again and again and again and again until we get it right. Which some don't ever get it right. They don't ever learn. 
There it is. I flipped it through it too quickly. All right. Koof. As I said, it's a cycle. A cycle like a day. Okay? The sun comes up and it sets. It's cyclical. It continues over and over. I got something in my eye. Continues over and over and over again. All right? So it has to do with the feast, the Moedim. Um, it also has to do with light growing and diminishing. And I already said time. So like the seasons, another thing I can explain is the seasons. Um, the father works. I'm not going to go into detail because that's not why I'm doing this video. It's not about. Um, it's not about this. It's about what he's been showing me. But the seasons come and go. We have, we have spring. We have summer. We have fall. And we have winter. And then they keep rotating and rotating. Since the beginning of time, this is what he's been doing. He's, he's cyclical. He keeps continuing and cycling through. Okay, he does the same thing in our individual lives. So when I had this dream, Koof, 1221 dream, um, automatically my mind goes to, okay, 1221, December of 21. That's what I thought, you know, and, and I, I, I still don't know. I've, I've been asking about this since December of last year. I still don't know. A lot of things changed in my life last December, but I don't think that's what the stream was pertaining to. So that's when, when I started, when the father really started talking to me in my dreams. Okay. Um, I've had multiple dreams, multiple dreams that he's been giving me over the past several months. And I'm actually going to move my camera because I want to I've been writing some of them down. Now, the recent ones I've had, I haven't actually wrote down. But they're, they're getting more powerful and they're getting more detailed as time goes on. And, and you can't make this stuff up. I don't care who you are. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. So, let me go through here and... Oh, is that where it is? No. I got my dreams in here. Um, huh. Okay, here we go. Found it. All right. So, oh, I kind of forgot about some of these. All right. So, I had a dream. Um, this was last year as well. I had a dream on November 22nd, 2019, and I was, I was in an auditorium where, and I still, I don't know what this means, you know, so I'm just sharing, you know, take it for what you will, um, where I was speaking to a known country singer. Um, she had long blonde curly hair. And she started singing a song, but it wasn't a worldly song. Um, it's called, uh, <clears throat> the song I'm speaking of, it's called Good Morning Ya. And it's, I don't even remember the lady that sings it, um, but uh, it's a beautiful song. So if you look it up, Good Morning Ya, Y-A-H. And I sung this song with her. And then from out of nowhere, there was a black duffel bag, kind of like the ones you would see in a movie where somebody's got guns or, you know, or, or they got money stashed in it or something. And all of a sudden, a baby was being thrown into it, like a newborn baby was being thrown into it, okay? And... Um, and then I had a dream, I guess it was, 
April, May of this year. Um, and the dream consisted of, I was in a grocery store and I was buying essentials, okay? And the essentials I was buying were like, you know, beans. And then I ended up grabbing um, squash seeds, like a pack of them at the store. But I remember, um, I'm not going to mention other people's names that happened to be in this dream. I'm just going to, you know, out of respect for them, um, I ended up having um, someone in my dream that um, that I've known for quite a few years. Um, she had... Um, she had been in my dream and, and all of a sudden, um, I remember that I'm in checkout and normally I would just pay with cash. That's kind of how my husband and I do things where we pay with cash, but they wouldn't let us pay with cash. They had to do, um, we had to do things differently according to what, um, what the new, policies were and so I had to pay with a different form of payment and I I was upset about this in my dream I was upset frustrated and and this woman she was helping me figure out how to pay um, this new way and she was helping other people and 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 so um, so I ended up checking out finally with my squash seeds and I don't know if I grabbed beans or rice or what it was. Um, but then in the dream, I remember um, that I had a place of refuge, a place of refuge, a storage place. And, and I don't know what this means either. It's kind of funny uh, when I think of the dream, but um, the storage place was uh, was already ready for me, but it was, um, it must have been cold for some reason. It must have been cold. Like it was like, you know, a freezer, um, where, wherever it was. And, and this couple that I also know, um, they had, <laughs> They, sorry, I'm having a hard time saying it because it sounds so ridiculous to me um, thinking about it. But I'm sure there's some significance to it. I just don't know what. Um, but they had prepared a place for me. And it, in that place, there was a freezer full of vanilla ice cream. So for anybody who knows me, I love vanilla ice cream. Um, but the last thing of that dream, I remember walking out of the store and I looked back and they were boarding up the store and no longer were folks around um, or allowed to enter into um, that store, except whoever the people were inside of it that were working it, they were allowed to be there, but everyone else had to leave. Um, and then I had a dream um, in April um, I had a dove, a dove, um, it felt real, like it literally felt like this really happened in real life, um, but I had a dove, I was laying in bed and I had a dove flap its wings, or flap, you know, it was flapping, it was flapping right in front of my face, and it was it was absolutely beautiful. Um, what else do we got here? Okay. Um, I'm not feeling led to share that one. Okay, or that one. So I'm going to share the most recent ones that I've been having. Um, I will say this. I have been um, having dreams where I'm pregnant. And... And for a long time, my husband and I, you know, we wanted to have children. And and I don't know what happened over this last year, um, but he took the desire away from both us, uh, my husband and I, to have children. And, 
And this wasn't done by us because we literally had such a strong desire to be parents that it gave us no peace at all. Um, you know, we had been trying for, for a few years. And then all of a sudden we recognized that we just wanted his desires to be done in our lives. And if his desire was for us to be parents, then it would come to pass. And we didn't need to worry about it. And if it didn't come to pass, then that was his will. And and we just came to terms with this that we are we are good. We are content either way. And I'll leave for that because that really that really tore me up. But the reason I bring this up is because I I started having dreams of being pregnant. Um having, you know, having children or having a baby come out of me, you know, me experiencing that whole thing. Um, and, and then, or me, dreams where I'm just pregnant. Well, before I did this, um, this video with y'all today, um, I started looking at all these pictures and drawings that he's been giving me um, since November, December of last year, I guess it was. And I started looking at all of these and it occurred to me why I've been doing these, why he's compelled me to do certain, um, certain drawings pertaining to his ancient audio language. But, but anyways, um, I'm going to share this one right now. This one's noon. And if you can see in there, this kind of looks like me. Well, I had done this picture when I was really desiring to be a mom. I had a friend at the time who was pregnant, about ready to have her third child, and I was really desiring to be a mom. And and so I, I drew this, you know, just kind of making that dream become reality, I guess, if you will, just on a on a picture. <laughs> um but my dreams have been consisting of me bearing children. And noon here has to do with the seed. Okay? The seed of the father, the son, or the seed of the adversary. And and I have been having dreams um, where the most recent one was I gave birth to what do you call those animals uh oh my gosh i can't even think of what animal i gave birth to i guess if he wants me to share it he'll bring it to mind um but i gave birth to an animal and i started nursing that animal and and as um, this dream proceeded, I, I would call the...